Some time ago I showed in a video how my email dump tool uh, handles obfuscated MIME files uh, where the some non-header lines had been added uh, to the beginning of the file. And now I've made some changes to my EML dump tool that it can handle uh, different types of obfuscation. So let's run this on the first one here. And if there is some obfuscation, now you will get uh, lines here uh, with the warning. So if we look at this first file, uh, you can see a MIME file. And here, the first line here contains some uh, random text uh, that is not uh, a field. Now this is uh, causing a problem for some of the MIME file parsers. And uh, EML dump is warning you about this. Now in the past, I showed you with uh, option dot h how you can skip this. This still works, but now uh, I have another option which is more uh, generic, and that is the filter option. And this will filter out uh, all obfuscation that EML dump uh, recognizes. So if we do this on the first one here, now you can see here that it can recognize the file. It recognizes different multiparts inside the MIME type file, MIME file. So now we can, for example, select number four, dump it, and pass it on to OLEDump, like this. So that is the first example. Second example, here also a warning. It's a bit different if we look at the file. So now the line here with the random text is not at the beginning of the file, but is uh, at the end of the first block. And that is what the warning that you get here. So you can do exactly the same. You just instruct EML dump to filter this. Then we select multipart 4 and dump it. And we can pass it on to OLEDump. Like this.